Okay, familiar, 35 minutes, pure core, pure waist. This is exactly what you've asked for, longer core workouts. Honestly, I think we're crazy doing this. 35 minutes of pure core. Now, you are a champion for showing up, seriously. Like, if I saw this written down on a timetable, I'll be like, ooh, okay, I'm intrigued, but wow, that's gonna burn. So, 35 minutes, said it a million times, you are here now, you are capable, and we're gonna smash this together. We're gonna be going through like a little bit of a battle because this is deep core versus waist. So we actually have six and a half minute rounds with a 30 second transfer into the second ding, ding, ding <laughs> battle round. Pardon if you get my words out. So the first round is gonna be deep core, then we have waist, deep core, waist, deep core. That's our five rounds done. Six minutes, 30 seconds on, 30 seconds off I should say. In terms of equipment, I have got the dreaded Pilates ball. This is gonna be used a lot, so make sure you grab it. If you don't have it, you can modify. You can actually use a pillow, but this is gonna make it so much harder. So you can get a hold of this in the store section of the app. It's inflated by about 80% today. And then I also have a 5 kg, which is I think around nine to 10 pounds, I think. So we're going pretty heavy. We're gonna get started in 15 seconds and we're starting off, as I said, with that deep core round. So you're coming down onto your back. The ball is gonna be in between your knees. Your hands are underneath your lower back, okay? And we're gonna start off with a mini reverse crunch. It's literally just clearing the butt off the hands. So really, really tucking that belly button back towards the spine. Thinking about your pelvic floor here, so zipping up and in between your legs and also pulling those stomach muscles back towards your spine. Breath out as you crunch up, breath in as you lower. I don't know why, but this exercise always makes me hungry. Training abs always makes me hungry. <laughs> Good, we're gonna go with four more. Three, tiny movements, two, and one. Now we're gonna mix it up. We're gonna go exactly the same at the beginning, and then we're gonna tap the toes down at the end without the lower back leaving the mat. Good work. This is almost like a little warm up for your core. Good work. We have three left. And one, start increasing that range of movement. Now we have a little pop. And toes tap down. Pop up. And toes tap down, amazing. Good, just piking the butt up to the sky. Four left. Three. Amazing. Two. And one, great work. We're gonna mix it up once more. We have that pop into a double leg stretch. So come up, straighten out, 45 degrees. Amazing. We are gonna be keeping all of these movements controlled today. Pilates style, three. Two. And one, keep those legs straight, lift the upper body up if you can, rotate. Good. Face the ball from the left to the right. Four left, three, two, and one. Hug your knees into your chest, have a moment. Like I said, that was just the warm up for your core. You're now going to take those legs straight out in front of you, reach your arms up and over your head, we're gonna do some controlled roll downs. I want you to grab a head of that a head. Grab a hold of that ball. Take a deep breath in. On the breath out, use a bit of momentum to take you all the way up. Place the ball in between the feet and back down again. Amazing work. Good. Get a nice rhythm going with this movement. And then only if you're feeling super strong. You're gonna start changing it up so that the ball and your hands stay really close to your head. It makes it quite a bit harder. Use that breathing control. Squeeze the ball in between the feet. Good work. It's not just there for show. 
We are squeezing that ball. Just a few more now. Amazing work. Last one. Collect that ball and then place it behind your back. Incredible work. We are going to be doing some work on the ball, but gently resting. So it's just behind the back. We're going to place our fingertips by our temples and roll back to where you feel a connection with the ball, but you're not completely leaning on it, okay? From here, you're going to draw the left knee into the chest and back down. Then the right. Breath out as you crunch in. Breath in as you lower. Place your arms down. If you feel that your neck is strained, palms facing upwards. Don't forget about that breathing control. Breath out, breath in. Amazing. Really pulling those stomach muscles in. We have four, three, really good work. Two, and one. This time we're gonna go with the left leg only. We're gonna straighten out as we lower back onto the ball and crunch in. Four, keep breathing. Three, two, last one. Straight change, no break. Straighten out, crunch in. Good work. Three. We're halfway four. Keep breathing. Five. One more. And eight. Hug in towards your knees. Have a moment. Now we're going to reverse that. We're going to lean over the ball to stretch out our core. Woo! Enjoy that stretch. Take a deep breath in. It's not going to last long. Breath out. Tuck your chin to your chest. Peel your way up. Good work. We're now going to work over the ball exactly as we just did. Go as far as you feel you can. This may be too much for some of you. So just a few inches and back up again. Really taking your weight over that ball, that pillow if that's what you're using. Breath out, crunch up. Breath in lower. Amazing, really thinking about those lower stomach muscles as well as feeling the upper. 20 seconds left, good work guys. Come on, we're nearly there. Breathe, focus, you can do it. Lights down low, throw the pillows off the bed. Oh, the... Amazing work. 30 seconds rest. We're going to take the ball out. You're going to lower all the way down and reach your hands as far away from your feet as possible. Oh, take some really nice deep breaths in through the nose, side them out through the mouth and allow that ribcage to completely flare. Basically polar opposite to what I always tell you to do when you're engaging your core. Let those intercostal muscles, those muscles around the ribcage completely expand. Amazing, we're going straight into our waist now. So no equipment to start off with. Left knee bent, right leg straight. Your left arm is out to your side. You're gonna come up, crunch across, raise the left foot and back down again. Good work. Now I'm gonna get you to support your head with this. So really rest your head into your hand. And your goal is to try and get your left rib cage down towards your hip as you crunch across. Two more. Last one. Now we're gonna crunch, straighten. Last one. Amazing work. Plant that foot down, straight onto the other side. We're coming across and back. Use that breathing control. Breath out, breath in. Really good work, guys. You're absolutely crushing it. Two more. Last one. Okay, straighten it out straight away. No break. Crunch across, 
and straighten. Two more. Come on, last one. Amazing, straight back onto the other side. So left knee bent, right leg straight. You're now gonna come all the way up if you can, using this left hand for a bit of support to come up if you need it, rotate at the top and back down again. I really want you getting that full rotation at the top. That's three. Two more. Last one. And coming back down straight onto the other side. Let's go. You're halfway, four left. One more. Great work, you guys. Reach those arms up and over again. This is pretty intense on the core. We're now coming into our side work with the ball to work into the waist. So this is new. We haven't done this together before. You're coming all the way down. Your palm's gonna be on top of the ball, okay? From here, what I'm gonna get you to do is lift the upper leg up and bring it back down again. Now that may not feel like enough. If you want a little bit more, you go with both and down. Good work. So this is working all the way down the side of your body. I really feel this in my waist. Good work. We have four left. Three. Two. Good, hold it up for me now. Lower down the underneath leg and lift it. Two. Three. Keep that upper leg up nice and high. Four. Five. Six, amazing. Seven, hold both up nice and strong. Glue those inner thighs together. Pump up. Eight. Seven, good work. Breath out. Breath out. Last four, come on. Three. Two. And one, hold those legs up, grab the ball, take it up to the sky, hold strong. Really, really strong for me. Take those legs up higher, five, four, higher, three, two, and one. Amazing, lower down from there. Place the ball in the back of the knee of the upper leg, okay? From here, you're gonna crunch the leg up, then you're gonna bring the leg forward. Let's go, two. Three. As you're crunching forward, really think about those deep core muscles out to the side. Think about the waist. I think that takes you to four, five, six. Amazing. Come on, we're nearly there. Two more. Seven. Last one. Eight. And forward, amazing. We're gonna go straight onto the other side. Push yourself up and over, swing those legs around. Amazing work. So the hand comes onto the ball, just literally fell down there. We're gonna go with that lift and lower, either single leg or double leg. It is entirely up to you guys. That's four, five, six, seven, Hold it at the top, lower down the underneath leg. One, two, as high as you can. Three, come on. Four, five, six, seven. Hold it up, hold it up strong. Good, and pump. Eight, seven, good work. Six, glue those inner thighs together. Four, three, two, now hold up strong. Strong, strong, strong. Take that arm up to the sky. Do not give up. Hold higher. Higher. And lower down. The ball comes in the back of that upper leg. Let's go. Crunching out to the side. And then as you come forward, really, really think about those deep core muscles. That's two. 
Ignore that timer. Three, we've got to go all the way to eight. Four. Five, keep breathing. Six, amazing. Working into your rest period here, I'm sorry. Seven, last one. And eight, incredible. Take that ball out. We're now gonna be working deep core on the ball. So you're coming into lying on top of the ball, okay? From here, we're gonna start off in double leg tabletop. 90 degrees at the knees and the hips. Okay, this is gonna really challenge your stability. If you feel you can, hover the arms. If you feel you can, hover the head as well. Eye goes forward, we're gonna start off with a toe tap, coming down and up. Breath out, breath in. Amazing, supporting your head, neck and shoulders if they're sore. Now really thinking about the core muscles. Don't forget, the further away you tap, the more challenging this is, okay? Keep breathing. You can do it, you guys. We have four. Probably shouldn't tie my hair while I'm attempting to balance on a ball. Two left. And one. Okay, from here, single leg stretch. Straighten out and draw back in again. Breath out. Breath in. Amazing work. you got four left. Three, two, this is where it starts getting a little bit juicy. Take those arms up to the sky if you feel you can. Now you're going to attempt to move the arms and the legs at the same time. Dead bugs, right leg, left arm. Amazing, really good work. Think stability, you can do this. Super strong core, four, three, come on, nearly there, two, now we're going to continue, but with a toe tap, good work, now if you want to, as you're toe tapping, you can open the arm out to the side instead, nearly there, two, and one, hug your knees into your chest. We are gonna go upper level by grabbing the weight now, okay? So your weight is gonna come above your head, holding one side with each hand. Double leg tabletop again, this is tough. All right, from here, if you can, peel yourself up into a crunch, otherwise keep that eye gaze up to the weight. You're gonna take the toe down into a toe tap and back up again. And if you feel able, you're gonna go with a chest press at the same time. Let's go, tap down and up. We could wake up and then make up. I always come back to you. You move me in a way never thought anyone could you get me. Good work. Remember to challenge yourself. The further away from your body that you're tapping your toes, the harder it is. Come on. I know you can do this. Three, we are strong, we are capable. Two, last one. And one, have a moment before we go into double leg scissors, the so double leg toe taps. We're gonna tap those toes down, back up, chest press. Let's go. Down, up, chest press. Whoa. And by the way, if this is feeling super, super stable for you, I want you to pause the video, put a little bit more air into your ball, to inflate it to 90%, and then trust me, you're gonna feel this even more. Four left. Three. Two. Last one. Have a moment, amazing work. We're now gonna go with single leg stretch, either holding the weight, or without the weight, it's entirely up to you guys. So if you are going with the weight, we're up in double leg tabletop. Your arms are up to the sky and you're gonna try to straighten out both legs at the same time, then bring them back in again. Let's go, breath out and breath in. Amazing work, you guys. 
You're only taking those legs to 90 degrees. Four left, keep those arms strong. Three, straighten those legs to 45. Two, okay, last one, hold them out straight. Hold strong, hold strong, flutter kicks. One, two, three, four, halfway five, six, seven, amazing. Eight, come on, nine, hold them strong. 10, open and close, 10. Nine, come on. Eight, drop the head down if the neck is sore, but do not give up. Six, five, four, come on. Three, two for luck. We're gonna hold for 10, nine, eight, strong straight legs. Six, five, come on, four, keep going. Three, two, knees into chest, one. Wow, 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 wow. You're coming off of the ball now. You will be very happy to hear. Okay, last minute, one of the worst, but yet my favorite exercises. I don't know why, but it's just killer. You're gonna place the ball in between your legs. You're gonna go for 45 seconds only with a static hold. Now what you're gonna do is come up into double leg tabletop. Okay, arms up to the sky, and you're gonna take your arms back as far as you feel you can. Good, we've already started squeezing that ball at 100% of your maximum. Do not let your hands just drop to the floor, that's cheating. Hold here. Good, challenge that core. Amazing. You are already halfway. Can you move your legs a little bit further away from your body? Some of you will be able to straighten. Okay, go with what works for your body. 15 seconds. Just don't let that lower back leave the mat, come on. Last 10, nine, eight, can you straighten? Seven, six, lower back flat, come on, squeeze that ball. Two, one, and you are done. I don't know why I find that exercise so hard. Well, I do, it's because your core's on stretch. Whoo, wow, you guys, we are back into waist. We're gonna be going with some of our side flexion. I want you to take a deep breath in, breath out, one movement, Bikram style. All the way up, Bikram yoga style, okay? We're gonna come onto our side now. One knee is gonna be nice and stable and the other leg is out to the side. You've done some of this with me before and wow, it hurts. We already know it hurts. Hands are behind the back of the head. We're gonna reach to the side, rotate and back up again. We're starting off simple, reach, Rotate. This is number six, just two more. Keep it moving, seven. Really taking that body all the way over and eight. We're gonna hold here, we're gonna reach the underneath arm out. Then the upper, draw back. Super, super strong here. Last one. Shoot both arms out for four. For three, amazing work. For two, okay, hold. All the way up. Straight arms, if you want to, you can grab a hold of that ball. Make sure that your arms are connected. You want your arms here, why can't your upper arm close to your ears, okay? Pretend you have two planes of glass either side of you. You're gonna take your body weight all the way over, stretch, 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 and back. Good, so breath in as you lower. Breath out, back up. Trust me, that's seven. Last one, hold it out, eight, seven, six. Drive those hands away from the foot. Four, three, two, one movement, back up. And drop the ball. How can such a small movement burn so crazily? Okay, we're gonna start off with those hands behind the back of the head. Remember, we have that side flexion. Two planes of grass, grass, grass. Deep breath in, breath out, down we come. Rotate by gaze to the floor and back up again. Two 
more, you guys. You are crushing it. Last one, come on. Okay, you know the drill. Upper arm, underneath arm, draw back. As you're drawing back, really think about those back muscles. Squeeze for me, you have just one more. Then we go for the double. Reach both arms and back. Now take a second to just look. Are you rotating forward? Are you falling backwards? I want you bang straight on. Remember those two planes of glass, not grass. Last one, hold it there. Eight, seven, six, five, nice and strong. Four, core tight, three, one movement, back up again. Grab a hold of that ball. We have our eight Lauren lifts. We can do this. Shoot those arms up to the sky. Upper arms by the ears. Deep breath in, rib cage down. Not much to think about. Over we come. And back up again. Good work. Now don't cheat yourself. You know how far you can go. You're here now. And we're already literally into our last seven and a half minutes of this workout. Four left, I think. Sorry, I lost count. Three. Come on. Two, all the way down. Can you go further? One, hold it. Can you go further without falling forward? Six, five, four, reach. Three, two, breath out. Back up again. Okay, we are sticking with the ball. I'm sorry. We're gonna come into four point kneeling. I'm just gonna get you to take a second. Just stretch out those wrists because we are gonna be using them quite a lot here. Okay? Whew, shake out the shoulders, spread those fingertips, tuck the toes under. Take a deep breath in, shift your body weight. Round a few times, find that neutral point where you are bang in the middle, and then from there, you're gonna lift up a few inches. Good, hold. Hold. Amazing, we're gonna take our hips halfway down to the floor and back up into neutral, alternating sides. Good work, keep this Super, super slow and controlled here. Everything is all right. Absolutely incredible, you guys. Breathe. Good, just 10 seconds left here. We can do it. And back into neutral, amazing. We are gonna make it a little bit harder now for the last 45 seconds. You're gonna try and take your butt over to the side, then try to straighten out the underneath leg, back into neutral and back. This is hard. Good work. Really using that stability of the core, but also coordination. Coming into the last 30 seconds. Good, working the shoulders here as well. Getting that rotation through the waist. 25 seconds. Isn't it hard with the ball, hey? 15. Incredible, incredible, you guys. Pace yourself, I want one more on each side. You can do it. Absolutely amazing. Take that ball forward, reach forward into that shell stretch and just allow yourself to breathe. Last five minutes, okay? Breathe, breathe, breathe. Incredible. All right, let's go in. All right, for this round, it's gonna be 45 seconds on, 15 seconds off for seven exercises. I'm gonna call this our quick fire round. You are gonna love me but hate me at the same time. We're gonna start off with our legs apart, feet together, and the feet quite far away from the butt. You're coming all the way down with that weight, then punching up to the sky. Seven exercises. We are taking the tempo up, okay? I know we can do this because we've already achieved 30 minutes in this five minutes now, or seven minutes I should say, is just like a little finisher, okay? We can do this. <laughs> 10 seconds left. Come on, keep pushing, keep pushing. Work that core. Show me what you got. 
Okay, the weight comes off to the side. Pilates 100, we haven't done it yet. We can do this. 90 degrees at the knees and the hips, lower back flat. Shoot those fingertips down towards the end of the mat and you're gonna pump your arms up and down. Let's go. Breath in, two, three, four, five. Breath out, two, three, four, five. I adore how we always end up on the floor. We know how to push the buttons to the core. Or I've got you. To make it harder, shoot those legs out to 45 degrees, glue those inner sides together to make it easier. Your legs are down, support your head. Whatever level you're at, you are crushing it. It really doesn't matter where you are at right now. It's just the fact that you've shown up, so you should be proud of yourself. Give me everything you've got for the last five minutes of class now. Amazing, lower down from there. We now have a full reverse crunch into straighten open close. So hands in a diamond shape, underneath all the way down to the lower back. Reverse crunch, hike up to the sky and open close. Let's go. Good, really, really turn your core on here. Come on, I know you can do this. Breath out as you come up. Breath in as you lower. Shoot those legs up to the sky, come on. There's four exercises left after this. Okay, knees come in. We're gonna stay in this same position. All right, we're gonna be adding a little here. You can actually, if you want to, place the ball in between your feet. It's gonna make it harder. Lift those legs up to 90 degrees. Lower them down, squeezing the ball at 50% of your maximum, then back up again. Good work. Do not let your lower back leave the mat. You may not need to have your hands underneath your back. You can have them off to the side if that works for you. Everyone's body is different, but the most important thing is to not let your back leave the mat. Shorten the lever if you want to. Bend the knees, especially if you've got long legs. Amazing, squeeze that ball. You're nearly there. As a little bonus, we're gonna hold in the middle for five, four, 45 degrees, three, two, drop the ball down, and one. Bring yourself up all the way, nice and fast. You're gonna place the ball in between the knees and you're up onto all fours. One of my new favorite kind of fun exercises, tuck the toes under, lift up from here just a few inches, drop the ball, come down, scoop it up and lift. Good work. Absolutely amazing, you guys. Scoop and lift. And as you're scooping up with the ball, also think about scooping up pelvic floor, scooping up deep core muscles, Transversus abdominis, it's all turned on. Lift and scoop. Sounds like a dance. <laughs> Good, and really squeeze that ball when you lift it. 10 seconds left. Come on. From here, rolling onto your back. You have two options. Harder is gonna be with the weight, easier is gonna be with the ball. We have feed throughs, okay? So the easier one is here. The harder one with the weight. All right, let's go. Two exercises left. Come on, you can do it. And if that's too much, by the way, you can come up and just lift as you feed through. I don't mind. You're here with me now, make it work. 30 seconds. I know you can do this, I'm going higher level. Yes, I am. Who do I think I am? Oh, yeah. Woo! 20 seconds. Come on. Come on, come on. My shoulders are dying. Come on, you guys. 10 seconds. 8, 7, 6, 5. Come on, finish up strong. Oh! 
finishing with a boat hold. Oh yes we are, I'm gonna give you a few modifications. You can place the ball behind your back if you get back pain, okay? Lean into it at 50%, lift and hold. Chest proud and open. If that feels too easy, place the ball in between the knees, repeat without the stability behind you. Hold there, squeeze that ball, okay? What I want you to do is take your hands behind the back of your thighs, Lift your chest up, now let go and try and stay there. Good work. Breathe through this, I know you can do it. We're into our last 20 seconds. Then we're done with this workout. Come on, squeeze that ball. Again, if you need to, readjust, lift, let go. 10 seconds, can you straighten one leg? Can you straighten the other? Yes, you can. Palms facing upwards, chest proud and open. Five, four, three, two, and one. Oh my gosh. I'm just going to turn you onto your stomach to stretch out into those hip flexors. Woo. Now it's totally normal, by the way, for your hip flexors to work during core workouts. There's nothing wrong with that. A lot of us actually need to stretch them because we sit at desks all day long and we need to strengthen them. So this is great for that. Roll the shoulders down and in. Breathe. You absolutely smashed it. Guys, I'm so proud of you. Well done. I'll see you tomorrow for another one.